Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on setting up a reaction table for a pH calculation with a common ion. We've actually used ice tables before a lot, and the more complicated the problem, the more, uh, the more useful it is. I've always resisted them, but I don't know why. They, they actually are very helpful. So the problem is that you've got some benzoic acid in a solution. So that means that it's it's going to dissociate. The water in the solution is going to break apart the acid into hydrogens that are going to rejoin with water to form hydronium. And then the conjugate base, which is the benzoate, the C6H5 critter over here. Well, they're going to mess us up because they're adding some potassium benzoate. They're adding the KC6. Uh, so they're adding the same, the same anion in a salt as we had part of our acid. What that does is makes it less soluble. So the, there will end up being, it'll drive it backwards because you're adding more of the benzoate. It's going to drive it backwards and it's going to be less soluble. If it's less soluble, there's going to be less hydronians made. And if there's less hydroniums, it's going to change the pH. The pH is not going to be as low as it was. It's going to be higher because there's not enough of the acid. See, it's a weak acid, so it's going to make it weaker. By adding a common ion, common to the conjugate base, you're actually going to make the, the pH higher. So, they're mean to do that, but they're going to. The question is simple. The question, there's nothing to it. There's not even asking a question. They're just asking you to do an ice table, which we've done before. So we need to know the initial molarities of each. And the easy one, of course, would be the, uh, the hydronium because it's on the right. Hydronium is on the right, so there is no, uh, there's nothing there. So it's going to be zero. Now you're going to, uh, they're, ask, they're telling you what the initial molarities is of the benzoic acid. So it's going to be 0 0.46 molar. And the, the initial molarity of the benzoate ion is going to be 0 0.41 molar. So they told you that the hydronium should be your um, X. So we're going to make this X. So then I come back to the balanced equation. I say, okay, if this is X and this is, this is balanced, so this is a one-to-one -one relationship. So here's the benzoate. So this is the benzoate here. This is benzoate. This is one-to-one. -one. So if this is X and it's on the same side, then the other has to be X as well. Well, this is one-to-one -one here with the benzoic acid, but it's on the other side of the arrow, so this can't be X, it has to be minus X. So this will be minus X. Now, the, the final is just add them together. So if you have 0 0.046 and a minus X, you add them together as 0.46 minus X. Pretty simple. This is 0.41 and a positive x, so it's going to be 0.41 plus x. And then the last will be 0 plus x, and it will be x. So the stuff is not really hard. It's just, it's just the, if you want to find the pH, you have to find the pH at equilibrium. And the final is the equilibrium. Um, in fact, I call it an ice They've got an initial change in final. I always call it ICE, I-C-E, initial change in equilibrium. And it's the equilibrium ones that you will then put in to your, uh, whatever your constant expression is, K of the, the product of the uh, right side divided by the product of the left side. And remember, we're only interested in aqueous and gases. So we're not interested in this water. So this water wouldn't be involved if you were trying to find the pH of it. Okay, pretty good. 